What is going on, y'all? It is Fart Gas here. Hopefully, you're having a great, wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Friends, today we're going to be talking about mods and Fallout 76 to my console, friends. I am so sorry that y'all do not have access to mods yet. I really wish that they would add it into console because, honestly, to me, I can't play Fallout 76 without the mods that we are about to talk about, y'all. Now, you may be wondering, what is Bethesda's stance on mods in Fallout 76? Well, this is pulled directly from their support website. Can I use mods or third-party programs with Fallout 76? Fallout 76 does not support the use of any mods, add-ons, or third-party programs. Please be aware that the use of such applications may result in Fallout 76 not functioning properly. Now that the auctioneer voice is over, as long as you don't have a PvP advantage or just a general advantage over other players, then I don't see a problem with it, and honestly... I've been running these for over six months and no one has said anything to me or mentioned anything about it. But hey, if they do, I'll let you know in a video. Just know that some mods do have a negative effect on your game. It's like back in 2018, 2019 when we were putting mods into the video game. Sometimes we would just fall through the floor of Appalachia and yeah, we'd have to disable those mods and go back into it. When installing mods, one of the things that you have to watch out for is game updates because the mod has to be updated. Elsewise, the game will absolutely break. You have to take the mod off to get the game working. So make sure wherever you get the mod at, make sure to check to see if when the game gets updated, they're working on a mod update. Links to everything will be in the description below. The place I like to go for my mods is Nexus Mods. The first file that we're going to be talking about is the Fallout 76 Quick Configuration file. It is a mod manager, but it can also precisely change things in your setting to make the game look better and run smoother. You can change a lot of stuff in your general video, audio controls, and camera. And when I say a lot of things, I mean you can make your backpack invisible. You can make it where the splash screen is skipped when you start the game up. You can change the way a lot of settings are a lot more precisely in the video. Also, you can change your FOV in the camera setting, and you can change the range limit for your camera so you can get some far off shots for some of those great views. Do you find changing the Pip-Boy color in Fallout 76's menu to be tedious and just not able to get the right color that you want to? Well, with this, you can actually change the Pip-Boy color and it is absolutely amazing. I'm talking about Capital Wasteland Green, Mojave Wasteland Amber. You're talking about Commonwealth Green, Appalachian Green. There are so many colors to choose from. So to me, this is a must have, not only for being an easy mod manager, but to having so many cool settings that you can change. If you're looking to add mods on this quick configuration tool, all you have to do is click the mods button. And then if you wanna add from an archive, that's what I normally do, or add from a file folder, there you go right there. But we're just gonna click on the add mod from archive. Then we're just gonna click on this single click. We're gonna press open and it's gonna say disabled. We're gonna check this to enable it. And then we're going to press deploy. And as soon as that's installed, you, my friend, have now put a mod on to Fallout 76. And all you have to do is start the game up and make sure that the game is working properly. To get rid of the said mod, all you have to do is click on it, then press delete. You can freeze it. You can unfreeze it. You can move it up and down in the list as you see fit if it has any problems. Sometimes loading is an issue. The first mod on my list is Better Inventory. So whether you're a Loot Lord or a Loot Goblin like me, well, friends, this is the mod for you because it will tell you where the weight is in your inventory if you're getting close to being over encumbered. The second mod on my list is Event Notifications. And I don't know if it's because I'm 35 or if it's just because there's so much action and shiny going on the screen with that little box popping up that I miss event notifications all the time. This makes it bigger and my older eyes can see it great. So if you're missing some events, this is the mod for you as well. My third mod is the improved health bars, and not only to me does it look the best, but it's the one that I get asked about all the time of how my health bars are absolutely divided up. To me, it's just easier to read, and like I said, it looks so much better. My fourth mod is going to help you keep up with every event that's going on in the wasteland with a community calendar map, or whatever season that we're currently on. There also are ones that put the signs in train stations, but me, personally, I like being able to press my map button and then going up to the top left and seeing what the dates are for what events are coming up. 
My fifth mod is probably my favorite mod, and it is called Save Everything. It prevents users from accidentally dropping, selling, scrapping their favorited or equipped items. You can't get rid of ammo that's on your equipped gun, but the thing that it adds in that I love the most is the ability to actually use my numpad key when trying to sell stuff on the market or sell stuff to vendors. Now, my final mod is one that is right there up with Save Everything on being my favorite. It is called Tagged Plans and Apparel, and it will tell you where certain plans come from, if they're valuable, and also with apparel, it'll tell you if it's rare or ultra rare. Like I've said, these mods should not get you banned because to me, everything on this list that I use on a day-to-day -day basis should have been in the game from the start or at least five years later put into it because these are all quality of life adjustments that I think the game needs just by default. Y'all, I just want to thank you so much for helping us get to 3,500 subscribers onto that 10,000 goal for 2023. Thank you so much for making this journey through the wasteland that much better for being around and hanging out with us. I'd like to thank the channel members of Frugan, Just Jake, Herb Cross, D Mobster, Yanko, Blood, Sebastian, Steve, Nova, Prophet, Dreamy Houdini, Bankai, Super Loki, and Jelly Rolls for being channel members over here on YouTube. Y'all, have a great, wonderful day out there in the wasteland, friends, and we will catch you next time. Peace, y'all.